Hi, welcome to Shakedown now. We're into episode seven now, and I thought I would talk about um, happiness in the eyes of men. So I uh, had this idea earlier this week that I would actually be talking about this issue. And uh, it came across when I was reading an article um, from the Times. And, um, and basically, it spoke about men... Uh, men's happiness is about doing a lot better than your own parents and that's if you're a guy of course I read that and I kind of wanted to divulge into um, what I want to try and talk about here which is that men uh, spend their lives striving and striving to do better than their own parents but women don't have hang-ups about that because they can just do it they just, you know, prod along and they do what they need to do. That's why women are successful these days because they don't have many hang-ups about certain things. They just go about and do it. So, basically, uh, according to Oxford University, this is reading from the article, uh, men who, is who surpass their parents' qualifications report low levels of psychological, psychological stress while those who do worse tend to feel depressed, lonely, or sad to the levels of um, comparable with the stress of divorce. And I thought, if I, want, if I could talk about that issue, about men's happiness, you know, would that I thought maybe it, can, it would inspire people. So I just wanted to get that across. Um... Now, I think what is I think one of the things that actually caught me from what was reading that is that um, it's it's a problem. It's a problem because um, we all have different ways of dealing with things, and in terms of our parents nowadays, um, it's not always about having to do better than than our parents. I'm sure. That every single parent would say, yes, I would want my child to do a lot better than me. But we'd not push to or, or anything else or whatever. Um, I'm sure that most parents would actually say, look, um, we're going to develop them with everything. If they choose to do something, yes, you're going to support them and whatever. But if, what if they fall on the way, wayside? What are you going to do about it as a parent? I'm not a parent, but I'm just literally saying to the parents out there about what they kind of gone through to kind of raise their children right so I thought I'd just talk about that issue and I wanted to know if men are truly happy that's what the first topic we're going to talk about if men's truly happy um if men are truly happy you know they would be all about being happy you know they would go ahead and show it off on social media they would go and speak about it with their friends and colleagues about things that they like to do and all that sort of thing about what they get up to, whatever the case they may be. But if men is truly happy with themselves, um, you know, they know, if they know um, in a brief moment that, yes, my life is good, you know, in that brief moment, um, men's happiness could be to do with their favourite football team winning the league or something like that. Men's happiness could be a promotion. Men's happiness could be... Uh, a, a child um, they could be getting married um, it could be winning the lottery for some people it's happened um, it could be anything that kind of makes them happy that kind of draws, draws them on but a lot of the time you would actually find men who aren't happy and they need to kind of find a way to actually get happy and I'm not saying that they have to find um, a woman or a man to deal with that sort of happiness I'm saying that there's got to be other factors in ways that you can actually get happy you know you can go out for a run get your mind right you could go and be with your friends you know have a have a good day out or a weekend out however you want it you know there's other ways of being happy 
you know we're not on this road we're not in this life to actually get paid pay the bills and then we die I've stressed this so many times that I don't want that happening in my life you know I, I never ever ever want want my life to mean that I'm just about paying the bills I've got nothing against making money who doesn't who doesn't want to make money but I don't want my life to kind of think to myself that yeah it's all about paying the bills and just dealing with every situation that comes that's not life that's just um, a life sentence if you think about it you know having to pay your way and and that's it nah not for me my life is about traveling the world it's about meeting people it's about connecting with people it's about doing things that you never thought about doing like i have dreams about going to certain places and i haven't been able to do it i haven't even got around to do it yes i've been lucky enough to actually go to places and live somewhere else but i want to be able to um enjoy life enjoy the beauty that surrounds the earth and and yeah it's just it's just about doing that but that's just me other guys can actually chip in and say that oh i want to lose weight or i want to climb my everest or something like that something that has a target that actually leads on to them happiness finding that their their self-worth getting their self-esteem all that sort of thing so if me I don't know if men are truly happy. I can only speak for myself, obviously, but like with men, um, with most men, some are kind of miserable, um, you know, because certain things don't go way their own way. Um, certain men are not happy because they're unemployed and they want to do something about it. Then there's many out there. Some are um, who are uh, who are pro poor, you know. But they're trying to do their best to kind of have to provide for their children in any which way they can. Legally, of course. You know, um, it's not easy. I think we're obviously dealing with the fact that this is a cold, cold world. And it's just never going to get any better. Um, with all the politics that surrounds it and everything else. You know, it's not going to be easy for men to be happy. But you can find some solace in our happiness if uh, if i can actually say anything so i'm going to move on to a next topic and i'm going to talk about if men are comfortable how are men comfortable is it because we're in a relationship is it because we have this thing about in a in a job um where it pays well but you're not happy with it but you're you're going to take it along and everything because it does something for you. Um, I don't know. I think some men live in sort of that com a comfortable stage in their lives. Some of them just do that and I don't know why. Um, if, if, if you're speaking for me, experience-wise, I've worked for McDonald's for eight whole years. And a lot of people have told me to leave, to leave, 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 leave. No matter how many times I got unhappy about it and everything... Um, everybody told me to leave and I couldn't because there was no way I was going to get anything else. There's some people that have done that, but I don't know where I would have gone to. And I have tried to apply for other jobs and everything. Um, it just never felt for me. It's sad, but it's one of those things. It's the truth. But there's guys out there who's in certain situations that, you know, they got these uh qualifications and they've got dreams of what they want to do but they lack that experience and nobody's out there willing to give them a knowledge branch and say okay come in we'll teach you it's not it's not easy these days um but i got into the phase of where i was comfortable but i didn't i w and then i got the opportunity to go ahead and do other things and um i juggled jobs and that's how I kind of done things. Yes, I was, uh, yes, it was a skill that I thought it was daunting. But if it was going to get me to somewhere in life where I can actually talk about it and everything, which I'm doing now, then all the power to me, you know. So I just think that I just done that for a good reason. Um, but it wasn't easy. Life is never ever easy. But we got. I got into a stage where I was comfortable. But once I kind of got out to my comfort zone, I realised that I could actually be bigger and better. So that's really it. 
men are comfortable like that. Men are comfortable who can adapt and can hold that certain thing for a while and everything, and they can they can go through the motions for a bit, and then when they're ready, you know what I mean, they can actually change it up. So it can happen. Um, it, it it can happen. So I just wanted to kind of share that one with you. Okay, but what if there's people, there's men in particular, um, what is it going to take for them to get out of their comfort zone? Oh, I think, I think sometimes it can, life just changes, life just, just generally changes. If you have gone through breakups, if you have gone through a loss of a family member or a friend, um, if you have gone through certain things in life that's bad, then you gotta wait. You gotta think to yourself: Is it really um, possible to get out of your slump that you're in to actually get you think to yourself? Right, my life is means so much more than what my problems are at the moment. My life means more. So, what are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna like look yourself in the mirror and try to tell yourself that you know you deserve better, you need better, um, or you're gonna go out there and actually just prove? everything to prove to yourself that you can actually make it in life um some people just kind of like don't get out of their comfort zones some people can actually get people that actually tell them advice and then they don't do anything about it they don't heed that advice or anything because it's not benefiting them and everything some people are some men are stuck in their ways and it takes a lot of it takes a lot of um, a lot to shake them out of it. They have to shake. They they, it, they have to be shaken to actually think. Right, I know what I need to do, and I got to do it now. Um, and I think that's really what what men need to kind of realize that um, life does change, and um, sometimes you take the you don't do the decisions, and sometimes the decisions made for you. But as men, you have to kind of deal with it. In the best way possible. Um, and, and I'm not saying that you should actually go out there and do something extreme. I'm saying that you need to kind of be realistic about yourself. And realistic about what you want for yourself. Um, and just do it. You know. Whatever you're going through in life. I'm speaking to you men out there. Whatever you're going through in life. Right. Nobody can't tell you that you cannot do something. Nobody and nobody can't, and nobody should um, allow you to kind of say, "All right, then you're gonna be stuck down here forever or whatever." You have to prove it in with yourself that you can actually prove yourself wrong. It's not nobody else that you have to prove; it's yourself. So I want you to put that into your mind. Um, if you're in a comfort zone, try and get out of it because you know the world's constantly changing, and you need to adapt. You need to adapt as best as you can. So I just want you to kind of understand that uh, um, it does take a lot for you to do it. But I think you rather would do it before that thing happens, before your life changes and everything. So you got to decide for yourself what's best for yourself, you know. Um, yeah, so are men in a slump? That's my next topic I'm going to talk about. Um some men are in a slump because they can't get um, a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Some men are in a slump because they lost their job and they don't know where to turn or they don't know what to do. Some men are in a slump because of a loss of a, a loved one. Um, I've seen it happen and it's, it kind of gets the worst out of them. Um, or they could actually be in hospital or whatever and they could... You know, they don't react, react to the news well and everything. Um, some some people some people ha have a way of just dealing with things. And I think sometimes if we're in a slump, um, again, it just takes a lot for them to change. It just does it. Some some men rely on the drink or, or you know, smoking or whatever to do in whatever. And I'm not saying that you should stop. Um, I'm saying that some people do certain things to kind of get them out of their slump, getting them out there thinking and, and they want to try and be as positive as they can be and they try to do what they can to kind of get their mind right and whatever. Um, some people just have, have, a, have a knack of 
just, you know, having to defy the odds if they could. So, um, men are some in a slump for a reason, but it's not it's not to say that they can't get out of it because they can. You know, they can do it. They can they can get themselves onto a path, and if they can get themselves onto a path that leads them onto happiness, then more power to them. So, um, I'm going to talk about if money makes us men happy. Well, if you're rich, of course it does. But I've seen stories that money kind of brings out the worst in in people. Um, and I've seen, and, I've, and, I, and I could go through story by story um, as to which men can actually you know get money to their minds and everything but i don't have time what i'm going to say though is that i've got nothing against making money nothing right except if you're doing it legally great if you're doing it illegally then you got a problem you know when you need to kind of think to yourself right that is it really worth it is it is this get, getting the best toy for your child um, using the drug money that's there, is it that is it going to be good enough? No, because it's, it's built on blood money, you know. All this sort of thing that that that's if it's good money, if it's good money, it's great. But if you're getting it out of you're getting stuff out of something to do with, you know, doing drugs or killing people or whatever and what have whatever and have not, then you know, some men don't care, but. It's money at the end of the day to care about getting paid, right? I've got nothing against making money, but I do have problem that I do have problem with people who are out there making money illegally. You know, you know, it's not it's not easy with with the way that the cost of living is going up, with the way that um, that things are going up. You know, like rail fares, car taxes, all that all that sort of thing. I could go on. It's going up, right? But at the same time, it just doesn't make anything easier. Um, and money kind of goes. That's what so that's what some men would say. You know, money kind of comes and it goes because you got to pay for things. Money goes right. The money has to go round. But um, if I was living, if I was living in a more privileged lifestyle, of course, it would make me a bit happy because I'd be able to do everything that I said I would do. To certain people, and um, and I'll be able to help my family and for my friends, you know. But I don't want to be in a face where, um, you know, I I, I don't want to be in a face where yeah, I want to show people that I've got money and whatever, because I've never been about that. Never, I've been about I've been about my morals and my understanding from an early age, and um, it's something that's been embedded to me by my family. And I want to be able to see that through. That's really where I'm coming from with all of this. So if if I if I'm gonna make money, and if money kind of makes me happy because I get to do certain things, then they're all for it. You know, paying for a holiday or getting a house or buying a new car and all that sort of thing. When you kind of like like you know kind of spending money and it's doing it in a positive way, then all the more to it. It can make you happy. But if you're one of those people who are who are using money to fill your need, the, your needs, bad needs. I'm talking certain things that's to do with your health and everything, knowing that it's destroying your health, but you don't care about it. Then you got a problem. And I'm just saying to people that it's never too late to actually get yourself sorted. It's never too late to actually get yourself out of the slump that you're in. It's never too late for it. You just need to know that you got to work hard for it. You need to kind of deal with uh, deal with your problems, but understand them, and just kind of smash it. That's really the best thing that I can say. Um, and I'm going to lead on to my final topic that I've written down here, and I'm going to talk about if our childhood has any bearing to what's being happy as adults. Um, let me break this down. From my standpoint, um, my childhood. For the most part, has been good. Um, I was growing. I grew up in in the nineties, and you know what? Everything was a lot different then. But weirdly, everything was a little bit better then. Music was better. 
you could watch TV and better stuff was on back in the day. You used to be able to play outside and you can play with anybody. You can play football with anybody. Nowadays, you can't do all that stuff no more. A lot's changed, you know. Um, and, you know, certain amount of people um, has changed, even though it's with the times where it's certain amount of people, that's what, it's what, it's what goes on. It's what's in, not what's out. It's what's in. And if you're falling off, you know, if you're not kept up, you know, with the trend and all that sort of thing, then, you know, and then you got a problem. But there's some men that don't really care about trend. I never once cared about trend. I was never ever about somebody who was looked to like somebody. Um, I was never ever in that sort of phase where I could follow somebody, you know, just to make myself popular. I was never ever ever doing that sort of thing. Why would I want to do it? Um, why would I want to actually get gain popularity for... For doing a certain thing that everybody else is doing. I'm not doing it. I always wanted to march to my own beat. Um, and I wanted to make a success myself doing all that stuff. So I don't understand why people have to do that. I don't understand why us men kind of get into that strat that thing to say, yeah, I'm all about getting popular. I'm all about doing this. I'm all about doing that. You know, even with this podcast, I'm not looking to actually get popular from it. If I do get fame from it. I've always maintained that I'm going to still still say the same. I'm going to be just as positive and just as uh, as you see me. Because what you see is what you get from me. But with other men, not, not sure. You know? Um, my childhood um, was just all about kind of learning, learning to get good people around you. And just trying to be respectful about all of that stuff. And that's what I was. I was respectful for the people that had their part in raising me. Um, I enjoyed doing certain things as a kid. Um, but it didn't have any bearing on me being un being unhappy. I just didn't know where I was going to end up. I knew I didn't know what was going to happen. Um, I wasn't actually prepared for, prepared for certain, certain things when I was at school. Maybe because I didn't listen or maybe because, oh, yeah, they talk rubbish and, you know, I'm just being a kid and whatever. But it's true. It is true. Um, and I think that it shouldn't never have to come to that. To the fact that it's gone, it's gone to a point where, you know, it's a, you sit down and you think, oh, my God, it's real now. It is really real. And um, it had I kind of been pushed to being a lot better to being... Um, a lot happier, a lot successful, then, you know, you know, Shakedown probably wouldn't exist if I did do that. But I'm glad it does because I can actually talk about this situation and other situations. And, um, yeah, like, I just wanted to say that it might, it might, um, it might have a bearing on us as men being unhappy, uh, being happy or unhappy. You know, it, it works either way. Sometimes um, something can happen to you and you, can, you couldn't change from it and you won't change from it. There's a lot of, a lot of men out there who have um, certain issues from, you know, not having a childhood because they're made to actually study and whatever and make sure that they kind of have to be pushed to kind of be successful. I never want that for my kid. If they're, uh, if they're a genius and they work at it, yes, I would say, yeah, you need to kind of take your time out to be a kid and everything, you know, just enjoy it. I'm not saying that they, they need to, don't have to work hard or whatever. They still need to work hard. I'm more about working hard. But what I will, I will say is that sometimes you need to kind of understand and accept that childhood is childhood. But we have to do our best. Even though I'm not a parent, I should say. We have to do our best to kind of give the the leaders of tomorrow to understand that, okay, this is what the world that we live in and this is what you need to do to kind of make it better, you know. Um, but be a kid. You haven't got to worry about that yet, but be a kid. Enjoy it because I miss being a kid sometimes. I miss... Um, not having to do certain work. I miss having half turns or the six weeks holidays in the summer and all that sort of thing. I, 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 there was a lot that I could actually um, be thankful for over my time being a kid, you know. And um, 
and yeah that, that, I think that's what really we should actually um, we should appreciate you know um, so I come to the end of this week's show um, I actually don't have um, a an extraordinary person of the week award. Um, I think I'm going to give that missed the, um, this episode because um, there hasn't been a standout person this week that actually says yes. Um, like an extraordinary person in the week is should be given to this thing. But what I'm going to say is it'll be back the next time that I do this in episode eight when I got another idea of what I can actually do. So I'm going to spend a few time talking about. Um, well, I'm going to talk about what would make me truly, truly happy. I think, I think really with me, um, I think I've done all right for myself, but I've always wanted to aim higher, want to do a bit more. Some say I'm a bit of a dreamer and that's true enough, but I ain't afraid to get my hands dirty. I ain't afraid of hard work. Never, ever, ever been afraid of hard work. And even if um, it's going to take me a long time to actually get to certain happiness, then, you know, great for me, you know. So I'm I'm about doing that. I'm about doing that. And, and uh, I don't know about other men, you know. And I can sit here and I can say, look, listen, I can support you in any which way I can. Um, even if I didn't know you or whatever, I will say, you know what, well done. You know, respect to you, you know. Um, if I was close to you and everything, I'd say, yo, I'm going to be buying you a drink and everything when I see you and everything, you know, but I'm, I'm about that friend. I'm about that sort of personality that would actually say, yeah, I would praise you when you're wrong, when you're, when you're doing things are good, but I would say, um, I would give you a bit of criticism, but I wouldn't kick it down if you're doing things wrong, you know, and that's not what I'm about with Shakedown. Um, Shakedown is about getting down to the nitty gritty issues that face us men, you know, but I'm about trying to say, look, listen, what can we do as better as men? And that's really what, what we, what we're here for. So I'm looking for this podcast to grow, to tweet, to talk to people, to, um, get to, uh, we get to talk to them in each way, each way possible. Um, by social media, um, I am going to look to try and get guests on because I'm sure by now, right, it's not fair that I'm always having to talk. Um, but I do want to get some guests on. Um, so you can reach me on my social media, my Facebook. You can find me. It's Theo Samuels. Um, if you want to get in touch with me via Instagram, it is Theo Samuels eleven. Um, it's a private account, by the way. It's not open, but I'm looking to probably get um, social media accounts for just Shakedown alone. Um, but uh, I'm I'm considering that at the moment. But but yeah, my social media is um, a way you can contact me. Um, also on Twitter, you can actually find me on at Theo Samuels. So. Um, that's at Theo underscore Samuels. I should actually um, get that right. But uh, yeah, we come to the end of this week's episode. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm hoping, I hope that you enjoyed your weekend. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, peace out, people. Once, and I'll tell you twice.